In my last video, I compared the Giant Yukon 2 and the Giant Fathom 1. When researching those series, I came across the Giant Fathom 2. I had a quick comparison and I was actually surprised by the results. Hear me out. After a quick comparison, I found that the Giant Fathom 2, priced at $1,380, is better than the Giant Fathom 1, priced at $1,740. Let me tell you why. Before we jump into this comparison, I do want to alert you that these are the 2021 bike models, so if you're watching this say 5 years from now, this may be obsolete. Anyway, let's begin with what is similar between the two bikes. Of course, both bikes came with the same LELUXXSO grade aluminum frame with the same geometry that is shown up right now. They also both have the same giant crest 34RCL with 130mm of travel and boost 15 by 110 millimeter spacing. They also share the same giant contact trail 35mm thick handlebars and stem. Along with that, they share the same giant contact 30.9mm dropper post and giant Romero saddle. They share the same giant AM275 rims and Max's Ardent Race 275 by 26 inch tires too. They even share the same spokes to lace that all together. They both come with Giant's overdrive technology and come with tubeless sealant already pre-installed so that you can run a low pressure out of the box. Let's move to the aforementioned surprising thing, the drivetrain. The drivetrain on the Fathom 1 is SRAM's SX Eagle 12-speed drivetrain. The SX Eagle is SRAM's very entry-level 12-speed drivetrain. The cassette on the SX is an 11 to 50 tooth cassette. The drivetrain on the Fathom 2 is Shimano's Dior 12-speed drivetrain. Like the SX, the Dior is Shimano's very entry-level 12-speed drivetrain. Yet, most people do agree that the Dior feels smoother when shifting overall to the SX. The Dior cassette is a 10 to 51 tooth cassette, so that makes it just a bit better than the Fathom 1 too. So, if you decide to pay the extra $360, you will not be getting a better frame, fork, handlebars, stem, dropper post, saddle, rims, spokes, tires, or technologies. Yet, also, if you spend the extra $360, you will be not getting as good of a drivetrain. So you can see how what is left must be really good to make you want to get the Fathom 1. Well, let's see if that's true. The Giant Fathom 1 comes with Shimano's MT420 4-piston brake calipers in the front with the MT400 2-piston calipers brakes in the rear. This is a great sight to see while hitting really technical stuff on the trail. The Shimano 4-piston brakes will not let you down. What is not a great sight to see is the word Tektro. Shimano and SRAM are two of the best, most reliable brake brands on the market, yet there are new brands making a splash with some really good quality brakes such as Magura and possibly Hope. One brand that is not that very good quality is Tektro, especially when you find out that both of the calipers, front and rear, are only two piston. Yet these brakes will definitely suffice with any trail bikes, so they aren't terrible but they aren't the best. But here's the catch, you could get a solid pair of brakes for less than it would cost to buy the bike of the Fathom 1. Any one of these brakes would do just as good, if not better than the stock ones that come on the Fathom 1, making the Fathom 2 a better all over bike for less than the Fathom 1. To reiterate, if you were in the market to get a Fathom 1, I would suggest getting the giant Fathom 2 and just upgrading the brakes as they wear or as you see fit. Comment down below what you would do if you were in the market for a Fathom. Make sure that you like this video and share it with all of your friends. Also, you're, while you're down there, you might as well help this channel out too by subscribing. In the description below, you can see all my other playlists to all my other bike reviews, so check that out. Make sure you have the best day ever.